So this looks like a candidate. Today we're loading the gas kiln for the Empty Bowl project. We do dedicate six kilns to it each year for quite a few years now, and uh, this is number four for this year. All these crazy potters with dirt, basically, and um, made bowls and people came, and they still come and take bowls away, and it goes to a really good cause, too. In this kiln, primarily, it's work from Yanis and her family doing decorating, and a few of mine, and uh, a lot of the other denizens of our studio. I'm Dave Linus, and I do ceramics, pottery, primarily. I can feel there's lumps and bumps in this piece of clay, so, but luckily enough, Bowls don't have to be perfect and symmetrical. And kind of nice if they aren't because they're more handmade. For me, it was a personal discovery, one little step at a time. And it took many steps, uh, many pots, before I got the result. He usually does the paintings, you know, the Chino paintings, and lately he's been doing a lot of the fish. I love painting, and that was my major in art school, was painting. And I did a lot of illustrating and using those skills in my career. But uh, as far as clay goes, this is a little trickier. You don't see what you're going to get until the kiln opening happens. So you're in process along with Mother Nature to do these things. He's got a lot of years of experience behind him, yeah. And you can tell that he really enjoys it still. That love is, is there, that interest, that, that caring. You need a wee pole and a teapot lid, uh, some place for the steam to come out so when you pour it, it doesn't chug. And with a chimney in the hole, it pokes right through the chimney down to the inside of it so that when you pour boiling uh, water in to steep your tea, well, a little curl of uh, steam will come out of the chimney. That just tickles me that it does that. I made a whole bunch of them. So I'll forever make little cabin scenes and things like that on my work. Um, it, it's nostalgia for me. Working in this line of development, why it, it leads me where it leads me. I, I don't know where it's going to go, and I don't want to know. Um, because that's what's really the funnest of all, is to make something that nobody's ever seen before, myself included. It looks like they got cooked. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like they got cooked. It's really exciting, especially when it's a good firing, and we've been blessed with having a mostly good firings from the get-go with that kiln. Oh, look at this one. Some beautiful yeah, pieces, yeah. a lot of different people with different work in there, so it's fun to see the variety. It's all nice toasty results. You can almost see the heat in the kiln just sitting on the table, an iridescence about it, and uh, all of these lovely chino colors of warmth. Uh, I, I look for that. That's what I'm hoping for. A lot of people nowadays don't have any real ceramics in their house. They, they don't even know particularly what it is. So this process of uh, doing empty bowl often puts these in people's homes that wouldn't normally have them there. And sometimes they fall in love with this stuff and start to crave it, and that's what we hope for. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.